This angle is horrible. <laughs> If you are new here, hello, if you're an OG, what's happening? I'm starting this vlog off super late because currently I'm heading to Jake's and again, I apologize if this is horrible. Heading to Jake's and we're gonna go meet up with Kara because she's in town from Texas. Yeah, so that's, uh, and I haven't vlogged for a bit, so I figured, why not? Why don't we vlog? That's, uh, that's what's going down. So I will uh, talk to you guys when I get to Jake's or I think we're going on the train, so. Yeah, more than two. <laughs> B-roll, baby. Okay, there goes Jake. <laughs> Can get some walking footage. Yeah. What is that? Fairies. Yeah. No, that. Yeah. Fairies. Yeah, fairies. Yeah, you know what I meant. Wasn't that crazy? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like literally sent him the picture of her Instagram story. You need to change jobs. Where's Chauncey? Chauncey, hi Chauncey. Oh fuck. What? We're going the wrong way? Oh, okay. Turn around. <laughs> Sir, what do you... Hello. What you... Oh yeah, what did you rate the escape room? Like a 7.5 out of 10. That's yeah, not bad. No. That's pretty. You're, You're giving that way too much. Really? What do you think? I was going to give a 7 out of 10. We started late and finished early. That was like a... As far as difficulty goes... Yeah, six. difficulty was easy. Fun? It was fun. That's what I said, fun. Seven and a half. I think it was say, too easy. I'd give it a 7. Yeah, that's too easy. Sublet. Yeah. Now we're going to the train. That's about it. You pulled out the flower, the computer popped up, and you were like, I knew it. I, I looked at him and go, why are you holding flowers? <laughs> he literally had the flowers. Yeah, he was holding the flowers. I'm helping. Yep. I was like, oh, I had to play okay. bird. Yeah. You crushed it, though. Dude, One go. What can I say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think last time I talked to you guys was last night when I got in like super late, which is, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then your boy had to wake up at 5 a.m. today for training. So uh, yeah, we're just functioning off of like four, four and a half hours of sleep. Surprisingly not doing that bad. I haven't taken you guys to a lift in a bit, so we're gonna do that today. And I was like, I don't know what else to film. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> uh, we're doing some chest in shoulders. I had some pump for pre already and also had a gladiator energy. Love these things. These are my go-to for energy drinks besides like first from energy. First from energy has like the carbonation whereas gladiator energy doesn't. So it's a nice mix up, shout out. Not sponsored, but damn those are freaking good. Got the owner of the company is super dope too. Love the dude. So yeah, doing a chest and shoulders. Just doing a little bit of warm up right now for the rotator cuff. So just doing some external rotations. Nothing too heavy, just warming up the shoulders, and then we're gonna do some pre-activation for the chest after this. Also one thing, again, I don't even know if I'm gonna put in the last clip from last night, but I'm either gonna just restate what I said basically, or I'm gonna either take it out. I don't know, you'll know by when you're watching this. <laughs> but I was gonna try to film more in the escape room, but they wouldn't let you film in there, which kind of sucks. Uh, but it was really fun, we all had a really good time. So we actually got out of the escape room, surprisingly, I didn't think we were gonna get out. <laughs> that was really fun though. And then after that, we just went to a bar, got some food, hung out. And again, I was gonna film there too, but it was loud and we were just having a good time, just chilling. So I was like, screw it. I'm not gonna pull the camera out and, and vlog or anything like that. But yeah, it was great. Shout out Kara if you're watching this. She was in town for a few days. Obviously Jake and I want to see her. So that's what we did. And we're gonna actually go see her when she moves. I think it's next week or something. I don't know. So she's moving to Colorado, which is wild. Ooh, getting a little burn going if you guys don't do any sort of oh before i did this too i did like two to three exercises of mobility 
before doing this. But, uh, if you guys don't do any sort of like mobility, any pre-activation work, get on it because it makes your lifts, those are like the little things that make your lifts so much better. It may feel like you're doing nothing, but I promise it's worth it. When you guys are doing like the external rotations, so you can't really see, I'll show you on the next, hold on. So when you guys are doing, I mean, internal rotations, relatively easy, like a lot of people screw up doing external rotation. Kind of angle yourself straight on and then go away from it, right? So it's pulling me kind of back almost. So my forearm is directly on my stomach right now. And then you're only going out just a little bit. You're not going out where your elbow's coming out, right? You're going out just there. So you're really just targeting your rotator cuff back there. It's a very small movement, right? And again, you don't, and you don't need much weight. I'd go a little lighter than this if I could, but I can't. All right, two sets of that on each, and then we're gonna go high and actually rotate up there. This one you also should go <laughs> extra light on. Doesn't take much. Woo, shoulders are burning. All right, okay, next we're doing just some super light flies, just getting a nice stretch in the pecs, get some blood flow in there. I really enjoy doing flies for a pre-activation before like doing bench or just a push lift in general, I guess. That incorporates chest, you know what I mean. Yeah, it just, just feels really good. Again, we're not using heavy weight, just getting a stretch. Good squeeze. Do about 12 reps. Towards the end, you know, it should burn a little bit. I mean, I'm not going crazy heavy or anything, but it should, uh, it should feel a little bit of a burn. It's not that I'm not gonna do any sort of warm up after this. I'm still gonna obviously do warm ups for the next exercise, but it's just kind of a nice way to just like dynamically stretch the area and get blood flow to it for the next exercise. Like I said, pre-activation work. Like a lot of times if you have like knee pain or something and like let's say you have weak glutes, weak glutes, what the f am I saying? If you have weak glutes, right? So due to having weak glutes can cause a lot of knee pain. I mean, there's lots of things that can cause knee pain. Um, Trust me, I get it. But I'm just saying, for example, most people have weak glutes, right? So again, if you do some pre-activation work, I'm just like turning the glutes on, right? And then you like go to squat after you do some pre-activation work, your knee pain is almost minimal. So. Woo! Yeah, for sure, feeling that. Let's go one more set. Outfit of the day, we've got the room slash the ROM pant from First Form. Love these things. We've got a black beater underneath and then an Al Fleet hoodie, which I freaking love this hoodie. And then first one beanie. You know me, beanies all the flipping time. I almost wore a uh, baseball cap, but I'm always gonna choose a beanie for sure. Especially during the winter months. All right, I'm gonna need a bench after this and I'm not seeing any. Oh, excuse me. All right, bet, I see one. Let's get this last one done. We are starting off with incline dumbbell. And I don't know what I'm gonna hit. My goal is to hit 100s. My elbow's been feeling decent for the most part, so we're gonna just play it by ear, I guess. Let's warm up with like 65s, start there. Really hope this angle isn't shit. Feel the elbow a little bit, which is annoying as crap, but we'll just take it set by set. I have zero idea how much of this footage I'm actually keeping in, so whatever you see is what you see. Might be the whole workout, might be half, might be quarter. I don't know. Intra, we've got creatine, BCAs, and L-carnitine. Not a good mix of flavors though I put in here. All right, next, over 80s, nice easy six. Felt better than the first set. Oh God. I meant to put in headphones in the beginning, but then I just forgot. I always forget if I'm being honest. I have Ariana Grande on repeat right now. I hope the mic doesn't pick up too much of the audio for this, because uh, copyright. But yeah, I got yes and on repeat. She just released that shit and it is fire. All right, what am I doing, 90s I guess? Yeah, a little four, really like so primer. Each weight is feeling like five pounds heavier than it should right now. So don't necessarily love that, but okay. As you before. Money. 
It's actually not that bad. I expect it to be way worse. But we're still throwing the beanie back on. I don't know where Josh went, but I'm going to need him soon for a spot. I think for incline too, I got up to it's either 110s or 115s, and my depth was horrible. So I regressed back down. I want to say like my top sets ended up being like they were like 85, 90s. And from there, I just worked that my way back up, or I am still working my way back up to just really get good depth. I've been on the hundreds for a bit now, but I've also was cutting when I was doing that. So I didn't anticipate my strength going up anyways, but hundreds have been getting, I've been getting a solid six reps with good depth for a bit. And I've been wanting to go up to 105, just haven't, especially cause my elbows being a pain in the, you know what? So yeah, now we got one of two options here. Either I ask for a spot or I just wing it and risk using a lot of energy. I'm good for reps. It's just the first one to get it up. Lift up. So I'm going to go same time. I'm going to rock them back. I'm going to go like, I'm basically going to lift them up myself. But when I lean back, just grab my wrist as I'm going and just shoot me up. And then when I say good, you can let go. You want me to go here or like you Wrist, here? wrist, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just the first one. You can walk away after that, yeah. Good, thanks. God. Out of 10, solid four and a half. <laughs> that was shit. Depth was not great. Yeah, definitely not my best at all. That was probably one of my worst sets I've had in the last month. Such too, like when you get like spots from different people, you try to explain to them like what to do. I mean, everyone's different. I like different things like lift off, non lift off, touch the bar, don't touch the bar, touch the, it's just like each time you do it, it's gonna be a little different unless you have like a gym partner or someone that you consistently ask the same person. Like whenever Jake spots me, he knows how to spot me. Whenever I spot him, I know how to spot him. All right, now we're doing two back offsets. Back down to 90 for six to eight. <sighs> Let's see how that goes. <sighs> oh, this, this song was ending. <sighs> <clears throat> Mother. Yep, I'm calling it there. Oh my god. Strength is not there today. And does it have to do with my lack of sleep? Most likely, because I am carb up right now. I think I have like 100 grams of carbs in me at least. Like I said, it is what it is. We need to do the heavy shit first, then we get into the pump. Yeah, I was gonna debate between 85 and 80 after 90. But I'm even going between 75s and 80s right now. 75s is for sure a good time. My ego is telling me 80, but my brain's like, you 75s, so we're gonna do 80. <laughs> no, I can do 80, I got it, I got it. Just wait till we get to the super sets. Yep, I'm already feeling it. Since the 80s are gone right now, because someone's using them, I have one or two options. I actually have three options. So I could go 85s, not a smart idea. Wait for the 80s. I'll go 75s. I think this is a sign telling me to go 75s. So we're gonna do 75s. I'm for sure gonna get 10. I might even try to push for 12. We shall see. <sighs> Alright, that was eight. Nine. That was the right call. Yep. Next, we're doing dumbbell shoulder press. Okay, anyways, to warm up, I normally do 80s for shoulder press, but it looks like we're gonna be doing 70 or 75s. Let's go 75s. All right, let's go 50 for right now for warm up. See how the elbow feels in this one. That's where it acts up the most, so. Nice easy 10. I am definitely feeling it right now. How it am. 65s for next set. It's wild to me because I feel like I have no carbs in me or energy, I guess, but I mean, I am carved up. Whatever. I did 
I had my pre-workout meal, well, meal slash snack, I guess you could say. My two fat bananas with half a teaspoon, I mean half a serving of peanut butter. I had it way closer to my meal one than normal. Not ideal. I could be impeding the digestion a little bit, so not good. All right. One. I could have done eight, but would have been helpful because I would just exert too much energy before the working day, so. Stop to six. I know later, me and Dom planned on doing some shit to the bikes. I think we're gonna do it. We might still do it tonight, but if we don't, we're probably gonna do it Sunday, so I will vlog that. We just gotta do a couple of things. I'm debating on taking the lights off the bike and replacing them with a better efficient system than hooking it up to the battery, but we'll see. But yeah, we just gotta do some maintenance on the, on the bikes. Just wipe down, clean the chain, stuff like that. All right, time to uh, stop eating Seven fives. I'm planning on six, so, but we might get eight. We'll see. One. <laughs> yeah, six is that number. I went from number two. One, I don't know if I'm going to back up. <laughs> and two, depth would have been horrible. I'm not one to sacrifice the form. Just get another two reps in. It's different if I'm doing like partials or long weight partials. That's totally different. But for this, no. It doesn't make sense. I try to think about like, it's not to say you can't use free weights and go to fill with free weights because you can. Or like drop sets, obviously. Risk of injury is a little higher versus if you were to use like machines or cables. But like go to fail or like do drop sets and stuff on things like machines and cables. It just makes more sense. You save the strength stuff for free weights. Again, do what you want, I guess, but that's just my opinion. Oh, I can't wait to do super sets. Yeah, they're gonna suck, but I'm over the strength right now. <laughs> shoulder press is always, it's its a hard movement in general, but the shoulders have always been a weak point from a size and strength standpoint, and it's so frustrating. But anyways, shoulder press was feeling like crap, then it felt good, and then it's back to feeling like crap. <laughs> so. Oh no. Maybe could have pushed for seven on that one, but stopped at six. I'm glad it's not that busy right now. I am sweating already. Dang. We have one more of these freaking things. After this last set, that's usually when I uh, hit the loop. After from drinking half a shaker of free, 12 ounce can of the Gladiator Energy, and I'm like a quarter in on my intro. Yeah, <laughs> we're uh, building up the fluids. <laughs> I know you guys can't hear this, but it's so good. Anyone else crazy that they can listen to the same song over and over again? Because that's me. People think I'm insane for it, but I don't know. It must be a ADHD or something thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's get this last one done. Also, just, this is gonna sound dumb, but don't forget to breathe when you're doing your sets. Somebody will hold their breath. <laughs> one of my biggest cues as a trainer that I cue is breathing. <laughs> One. Ah. 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 Holiday. Okay. I'm gonna hit the loo, and then I'll see you guys at that door. <laughs> I'm back. Next, we're going into supersets. So, I wanted to use the chest press that's back there, trigger loaded. But one, it's taken, and two, it's too much of a pain to bring the camera back there and then back up here. I mean, I could bring dumbbells back there for 
the super set. We got a big range here. Probably gonna shoot more towards like 10 to 12, but like the last two sets are pretty tiring. I'll like go like eight to 12, and then we're gonna go moderate to light on laterals. And kind of do solid good 12 reps, maybe push it to 15. <laughs> It's a little high. There we go. Wow. I think the angle of that threw me off when I was doing it. Maybe I try to angle the camera up next set. All right, after this set, pump cover is coming off. Did I drop this? Yeah, I think I did. What about to find out? I think that was 11. Wow. Hold, please. Hair is sweaty AF. I wonder if I could just put this on the necklace. Oh, I could just put you on my necklace, but now it's gonna swing a little bit. I'll just hook it up here. I hate when my camera overexposes. Super annoying. All right, we're gonna throw some uh, Chase Atlantic on. Look at that shit, is my jam. Oh, that's such a good song. Okay. Let's get it. Woo. <clears throat> One. <clears throat> that eight mark. Eight every time. Oh. <clears throat> oh God! Damn, tries. Actually pumped. Okay, second superset. This is a weird angle. I'm trying to fix it. We are doing chest flies, and obviously we're doing heavier weight than we did in warm-up. Reverse flies first. Whenever I have both cables for flies, if I'm not working out with someone, I like to do both cables for reverse flies. I could go one more tick, but 
We're gonna stay lighter and just burn it up. Fifteen. I hate when I'm running to the blower. I like to use the other cable over there because I'm not like getting cold, but when I get cold, I get pissed. So we're throwing the beanie back on. So we go one to two. Uh, two ticks more. And honestly, you want to be right now? We're gonna do partials. So we're gonna do one tick higher than before. And I'm gonna show you what partials. So we're integrating partials in a fly. So I'll show you. Okay, so ready? For one full rep, it's gonna look like this. One. Nine. Oh my god. Whew. Yeah, feeling that for sure. I've only been over here for like two minutes. The blower's really cooling me down fast. You guys can see. Hey, can you? Maybe you can't see. I'm just, I promise I'm sweating. Depending on when I'm training, but most push days i'm taking my time which i like to if i can i'll usually cap out at like an hour and a half if i'm like going faster or even if it's like shoulders and tries shoulders and tries like as often as shoulders and chest personally for me hour and 15 maybe hour and 20 and then pulls usually like hour hour and 15 but push takes the longest and then legs if i'm by myself i cruise through legs with working out with someone always at least an hour and a half usually so If you've ever tried these, try them. They're really good for rear delts. I feel them the most out of single arm face pulls when you're doing them. Notice how I'm going kind of like parallel here and then like lean, kind of like lean forward to get a fuller stretch and then kind of like pulling the body through and pulling through and I'm pulling up and high. Like when you do face pulls, right? You're, pull, you're pulling up high, you're doing the exact same motion for like a reverse fly. Oh god. Forking fudge, bro. After this, it's gonna be the last superset. Normally after this, I do one more superset for like complete just fail and burnout. I'm gonna do splitting it up. I think I'm gonna split it up. I normally do front raises. I'll take them to strip the incline, and I've been really loving single arm uh, cuffed side laterals. But I think I'm gonna do those and burn on those. I still might do a superset with the incline. We'll see. I'm definitely gonna end with a single arm. Lateralists. Those feel amazing. I go between, this is a super set too. I go between three and four sets. If I'm with someone, always three sets. It just takes too long. But if I'm by myself, I'll debate between three and four sets, depending on how I'm feeling. But right now, I'm thinking three sets. Because with side laterals, I probably would normally just do like two. I might just do three sets on that. So, I'm figuring it out. I know what I'm doing. Dude, this one always gets stuck and it's so annoying. Oh, wow, 20 really burned on that one. That last one of flies. I freaking bicep that was for speed, dude. It's very rare that happens, but it happens. Two plates. I'm gonna see how a plate and a half feels and go from there. Yeah, so what did I train yesterday? I trained pull. My bicep is just feeling really good with it. Which is weird because like, that never happens. So, I don't know. Three sets. Basically, it's all fail, but I at least have to get 10. So, at least 10 and just whatever I can get. This thing is weird. Put it in the here. Elbow also acts up on this machine a little bit, so Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes, but oh 
Oh boy. Oh boy. I usually get 15 the first set, no problem. It's not there today, not there. All right, my trap's looking. Money, it's so funny because I feel like out of any body part, I get asked so many things. I get asked, I get asked many times like, what do you do for traps? Nothing. I just have a good thing, I'm blessed with genetically use traps. So I do zero trap work. Granted, you know, going heavier on lot of races and stuff, like your traps are gonna assist doing that. But yeah, again, if you, it's good for the calves, right? If you have, most people that have the calves, don't train them, you just blessed with good calves. But if you want bigger calves, you want bigger traps, prioritize them and train them. Done. I try to get that down within the first like hour max. You don't want to spread that up too long. Otherwise, it's kind of like not effective. I mean, I still get the creatine's effective, but the BCAs, you don't want to drink them over a problem for time. All right, death. Just saying, by the end of a workout, guys, you should be like, not dead, but dead. <laughs> okay. Not again. <sighs> Holla damn. Nah, I'm gonna bang an orange to this and then do two sets that I should have been servicing this with. Just two sets and then we'll burn out. I should have been doing a little bit extra than normal today. Just for how bad my uh, tank is. I really work out. But, whatever. I'm in need for a haircut. Yeah, we're gonna be just over normal time, but whatever. All right, let's get this spot set up. I'm shooting for time, which is whacked. This is a plate and a half? Yeah, a plate and a half, okay. I'm gonna say this isn't two plates, right? Let's see you know I'm going to today. All right. Okay, we gotta quickly change the battery because I didn't know it was dead. <laughs> the downloading over here is crazy. All right, I'm gonna use this pillow right here and we're gonna just do back supported front raises. <clears throat> oh my God, last set. <sighs> Damn, were the front races kind of unnecessary? Yeah, but I did them anyway. I don't care. It's tough I've got for the Cyber Monday of this one. Been loving them for shoulders. We're just gonna be over as close, it's fine. Probably gonna shoot for. Dude, why am I so overexposed right now? 15, 15 probably. Maybe it's 15, but we're on there. Oh. Yeah, 20 is that number. Uh. Burn it out. Alright. Then we'll rest this guy. I'm not gonna go directly lateral. I'm kinda like, I think go in front of me and kinda going in like in a wide direction. Just feels really good. 14. 15. <sighs> ah. Three. Four. Five. Oh my. It burns. Ah. Fourteen. Fifteen. God. <clears throat> Three. 
Four, five. Oh my god. Yeah, we're toast. Let's go. I'm trying to do a two and one uh, flex right now. So, right, I'm doing the three right now. <laughs> I know my head was cut off for a majority of that. <laughs> What's gonna happen now is I have one more client for the day, a change, to make my post-workout shake because of recovery, it never always work out, you guys know. Also the salted peanut butter flavor of Formula One. So good, love my peanut butter. But yeah, gonna mix that up, uh, chug that, train my client, and I'll either see you guys tonight if we do something, or if we do the bikes, whatever, or probably Sunday, I'm not really sure yet. This angle's gonna have to do, but what is? Went to Kava, could have guessed it. Just chilling with Rock right now. I don't know, he's grabbing something upstairs. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, we're gonna hang out, just chill, eat some good food. I think Brett's coming over in a bit. He's still at work, which damn, it's just late, bro. But I don't know, that's what we're doing. I'll update you if uh, anything interesting happens. We were gonna work on the bike, but Dom didn't order his spools yet. So, so he's gonna order those. Hopefully when those come in and then we can, um, prop the boat well i have my spools i'm putting those on the bike and then he has to order some to put his bike up to actually like do all the chain and stuff like that so we're just gonna wait there's no rush it's not like we're freaking riding anyway so i mean the weather is just you know whatever and i'm starving bro i haven't eaten since my freaking post workout shake time is approximately what actually time is it 7 30 yeah i really want to crumble too i just gotta convince rock to get it <laughs> It is the next day. It's about 2 p.m. I'm about to leave in like literally five minutes to go to the gym. Meet up with Jake and Matt. We're gonna hit some legs. Pray for me. I'm bringing them some energy drinks because I'm everyone's energy drink supplier. <laughs> the first room energies. Um, and then just a couple shirts. So I might talk to you guys later, update you. Probably not much is gonna happen. And if anything does, I will let you know. Oh, also. I'll put a picture up right now. We got crumble last night <clears throat> and I've had all of them besides the strawberry cupcake. I think I maybe have the strawberry cupcake. I think I've had the strawberry cupcake maybe once. I don't remember, but I haven't had the new, the new snickerdoodle sandwich. That one was fire. Strawberry one was actually fucking fire. I didn't plan on getting that, but it was actually really good. I've had the pancake, the waffle, excuse me. <clears throat> that one slaps and the banana bread also freaking slaps. So all of them pretty good. Best one. Um, the first time I ever had the banana bread, that one, I feel like if, if it was that one, that one would have been the best one out of this lineup. The banana bread was still good, but it wasn't the best like I, when I had it the first time. So it's out between the, probably between the waffle and the strawberry one. Also real quick, these raglans, like I said, I say it all the time, are the best fitting shirts. Look at this. Just saying. What's up guys? I didn't end this video, um, and this is also from two weeks ago, because the push that you saw me do in this workout, uh, when I felt a little weaker than normal, yeah, that's because the next day when I went to go to the gym uh, and hit legs with Jake and Matt, after legs, I felt so freaking ill, like I got like hit by a truck. So I took the whole week off of training, and then I, this past Monday, so like I said, it's, this is two weeks ago, so this past Monday, I did a full week of training, and now it's Saturday, and then yeah, so I feel much better now, but it is what it is. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, oh, we also ended up doing the chains. It took like you know really quickly. I'm gonna insert a clip right now of how clean it looks. So much better. That was good. We fixed that. Everything's bada bing bada boom. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy, I know this is a long one. I hope you did enjoy. Uh, smash the like button. We really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel. Hit subscribe, bro. If you have any uh, video suggestions, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. We're done.